back to my channel. It is Tiffany. I hope you guys are doing well. Given our present situation or circumstance, I hope you're doing well. I hope you're staying at home, being safe. Mm -hmm. Enough said. Let's get right into the video. So stay tuned if you're interested in learning these three principles that you can apply to your life. So here we go. So let's kind of get right into it. You know, I always love to read you guys a scripture or share with you guys a scripture. It's, it's literally breaking bread, you know, um, and us doing this thing together. So James 1 verse 12 says, Happy are those who remain faithful under trials because when they succeed in passing such a test, they will receive as their reward the life which God has promised to those who love him. So with that being said, on that note, talking about the promises to those who love him, I want to definitely share with you that the number one thing that I have adapted to my life and applied to my life, rather, is the fact that I love God. The Bible um, expressed and shared to us the love that God has for us. The Bible says that God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. We know that in Jeremiah, the scripture says that before you even um, before before you was formed in your mother's womb, um, God knew you. He was acquainted with you. Amen. So there is a love relationship that we know for sure that God has towards you and God has towards humanity. But one of the things that we have to make sure when it comes to do us doing our part is that we have to love God. Jesus left two of the greatest commandments and it says, love God with all your heart, mind, and soul, and to love your neighbor as yourself. So I've literally applied that scripture, that principle, that idea, you know, really to my life. And that's what, that were really, that is what really anchored me during my season of difficulties. Amen. And because I love God and in love with God, there's a trust that has been developed from that love. There has been a sacrifice that has been developed from that because I want to please the Lord. I want to make sure that my ways please him. So there is a, um, a, a added, you know, um, value of just saying, you know what, I'm going to say no to my flesh and say yes to the things of God. Also, the commitment is there because because I love God, I am committed to him. I'm committed to this relationship evolving. If you can just think about any successful relationship, whether it's a, a, a partnership or romantic or a parental or a sibling or a family member or friendship, one of the key foundation of any successful relationship is love. And I know a lot of people out there will put out there that, oh, you don't need love in a relationship. You do, because if love is in the relationship, you are gonna stay committed. If love is in the relationship, the trust is gonna be birthed out of that, okay? If love is in the relationship, you're gonna sacrifice your very life for that person because you love them, amen? So love is the first and foremost um, discipline, or you know, uh, principle that I have adapted and applied to my life when it comes to being faithful to God through a difficult season. The number two thing is prayer and supplication and worship. To me, I believe it all goes together. I can honestly say this. I remember years ago when I was just really starting my uh, my walk with the Lord. I told God, if you can keep me. I know that I will be kept. And I was so sincere with that prayer because I know that if I pray and ask God to keep me, you know, keep me in his perfect will, keep me in that place where I would not leave him, that I know that he will do it. And the reason why I was so passionate to ask the Lord to keep me is because when I first gave my life to the Lord, I was about 18 going on 19 years old. And throughout that journey, I did walk away from the Lord because um, I didn't really understood the value and the beauty in the relationship I had with the Lord. So I walked away from that. So when I came back into um, the kingdom of God, into the revelation of who God is and how much he loves me, I asked God to keep me. Amen. And I know that he has kept me. The Holy Spirit has kept me throughout the years when I felt like I wanted to fall and walk away from the relationship. So prayer, um, worship, um, you know, giving thanks, all that beautiful parts of the relationship is a key, guys. It is key. It is key. It is key. Also, reading your word is also key on keeping you um, focused on the prize, keeping you, you know, um, um, keeping you in, um, wrapped up in the love that God um, have for you when you can read it 
on uh, pages of the Bible, you know that it is true. You, it's a witness in your spirit. It's a witness to your heart. Amen. So definitely prayer is major for me. Having conversations, guys, with the Lord. If you are in love with someone or you love someone, you want to hear their voice. You want to be able to share your your achievements with them. You want to be able to, you know, have conversations with them. And that's what prayer is. Prayer is just really building that communication with God. Amen. So my third and very last thing I want to share with you is community. Listen, I could have not done this walk by myself if I did not have a tribe, a community, a church home, you know, people that I really admire throughout my life with the Lord. So having community of those who are like-minded, the Bible says iron sharpens iron. Amen. Um, so having people that I know that love God and love the word of God has really assisted me and helped me on my journey of being consistent and being faithful throughout my difficult season and my hard times. The Bible says to pray for one another. Amen. Um, can two walk together if they don't agree? And even though that's not the best scripture, but that's what popped in my mind. I want to share that with you because when you have communion and when you guys are on the same level and have the same um, goals, it makes it so much more easier there's another scripture in the book of psalm it says one can change change a thousand but two can change ch chase ten thousand also another scripture the bible says when two or more are gathered in my name that the holy spirit is there that jesus is there so there's power in unity there's power in community so i could have not gone through my difficult season if i didn't have my sister i can pick up on the phone to say pray me through the season or you know i need encouragement i need someone to talk to i need someone to just really just give me the word of god right now um and to just help me um so that is my three major principles the three things that i've adapted adapted to my life that i have adapted to my walk with the lord and things that i have this really and still do to this very day so i really hope that this help you um even especially in the season right now where we are all experiencing um uh, uh, difficulties and struggle so I really pray that the Lord will refresh you and bless you and that peace will flood your heart for the Bible says that the peace of God that suppresses all understanding will keep your heart and mind in Christ Jesus amen so I just really pray that the Lord will bless you and protect you um, as as we journey you know through this through this virus you know which is so challenging for many of us so until we meet again guys peace and love God bless you.